Good morning. We're going to do an oil and filter change on a 2002 Road King. I took the bike for a warm up ride and now I'm going to drain the oil. I'm using Lucas 2050 synthetic motorcycle oil. Uh, I'm really fond of it. I, I like this stuff. Try it out. You'll probably like it too. AutoZone. Ten dollars a quart. You can't go wrong. I'm using a high flow filter. I buy them on eBay. You get pretty good deals on them. Or you can buy the filter right at AutoZone. I prefer my high flow chrome filters. 5.8 socket, that's to remove the plug. And with that, I'll show you where that plug is. All right, under the motorcycle, this is kind of hard, guys. I really don't. That's my 5.8s. Right there is my oil drain plug. That's the 5.8s that we're looking at. It's right under the bike. Don't confuse it for anything else. It's a 5.8s or an Allen head. With that, I'm going to loosen it. As you see where it is, I got to move this flashlight a little bit. Get your ratchet there. Nice, nice. I did not loosen the oil plug on the motor. That's where you put the oil in. I'm going to leave that in place so the oil don't drain out quick. I do not want this plug to drop into the oil, but it happens. All right, there we go. Don't want to make a mess, have a rag. All right, you'll feel it, and there she goes. Now you can see the way it's not pouring that freely. Now when I go up here and loosen the cap on the motor, and there we go, it slows it up, so at least if it does get out of hand, you don't make a mess. All right, we'll let it drain. So I loosen the fill plug, and that's what let the oil flow freely. I do that just because I don't want the oil, like if I did that first and then undid the plug, the oil would be gushing. So with that, this is a, a cleaner, neater way I feel. Let me know what you think. All right, now here's my plug, I cleaned it up. I always like to inspect it for any metal or gunk, just to let you know what's going on in your motor. She looks nice. And what I do, I prep it with this high temp thread sealant. Permatex makes it. It's great stuff. I put it on the threads and uh, when I reinstall this drain plug, it don't, it won't leak a drop. You can put a new O-ring on it, but this is just like my insurance policy on all these bikes. I take a little bit. It's a little Teflon. It's good stuff. I've been using it for years. As you screw this in, this will fill the threads, and uh, you definitely got no leak. I think it's a great practice. I prep it, I put it to the side, and uh, that's it. With that, I'm gonna let this drain, and now let's remove the oil filter. 2050 synthetic motorcycle. It's great stuff. What I'm gonna do right now is open up the oil filter and prep the filter. Now, take notice, I love these filters. Now, I'm not saying anything about Hawley. I like to buy a filter that's sealed. Plain and simple. If your filter isn't sealed, I don't know how you could be comfortable 
just putting this on your bike, knowing possibly something could be in there. So try to remember to get a sealed filter. I mean, it gives me a peace of mind. All right, with that, I'm gonna break the plastic, seal. I buy these on eBay, two to three for $25. You just gotta look, they got all sides of deals. What I like to do is to fill it with oil. So when I do start the bike, it's not that moment or second that there's no oil in the filter. So what I do is I just, what I do is I just fill it up once. You watch, it comes to the top. And that's it. That's it. Now I let that sit. And that will soak into the cardboard, fabric, whatever is in that filter. I take my hand on the clean oil. Now that's prepped for install. Now we got to remove the old filter. Here is my oil filter. Here is a crank sensor. So you got to use a special oil filter socket. This has the cutaway for that crank sensor. You can only move it so far, back it up so far. That's why it's important never to really over tighten these filters. There's just no need for it. What I did is I slid another oil pan. Now, with this setup, you slide it in there. Okay, you see, you see the way that slot allows for this crank sensor. Make sure you have it on counterclockwise. And there we go. Turn it, just take your time. What you wanna do is get this back to where your crank sensor is and then remove it. There you go. Now she comes out easy. If this is not lined up with your crank sensor, you will fight and you don't wanna do that. Now this is hand loose. With that, remove it as quick as possible. I'm taking my time so I can show you guys. But what you wanna do is get it out of here and standing straight. Okay, there we go. Have it standing straight, let it drain. And by all means, you will be cleaning this. Like I said, I'll let that drain for a minute or two. I'll clean it up. Utmost important, three-eighths, little extension. Have the right oil filter socket for the Harley Davidson with the cut for the relief for the crank sensor. Okay, with that, now I'm gonna clean it up and reinstall the filter. I just try to clean it up as best as possible. When you reinstall, don't wrench it on. Now here's this filter that we filled up. As you see, it's soaked into the cardboard. So now, at least we don't have a bone dry filter on startup. Now take your time, place it in there. And clockwise.
All right, I let the oil drain. I put the filter back on. I'm gonna use the filter socket to tighten it. With that, get your hand in there. <clears throat> and there you go, that's good. Remove that. All right. Now to go back to the other side and let's put the oil in. All right, I'm gonna put the plug back in. I'm gonna move the oil pan. The plug goes right there. I'm gonna slide this away. Give it a little white. Okay, that's us right there. You can see the sealant I have on it. Another quick wipe. Okay, hand tighten. You don't want to strip nothing. I'm always a big fan. Get a couple threads in. All right, there we go. You can see it right there. Get my ratchet. And just take your time. And like I said, you got sealing on it. Don't wrench it. it clean up and now we will put oil in the machine all right now I just removed the fill cap you could see we're gonna want to fill this up to a little more than halfway I'm gonna start off with two quarts here's the remaining from when we filled the oil filter Nice fresh oil. I'm going to tell you, try this Lucas. You will feel a difference. That's one. That's two. Go up two and a half and then check. I give it a quick little start. All right, 
I just started it for maybe two minutes just to get the oil to circulate, fill the filter up, and then uh, let's take a reading. All right, you see what we got? Let's add a quart. And what I usually do is I'll ride the bike and then check it again. You change the oil on these bikes every three to 5,000 miles, they will last forever. Check it, take it for a ride. Come on, a little more. Deck. Put it in there. It's right about right there. With that, I like it. Now what I'm going to do is take the bike for a test ride, clean it up, and uh, recheck the oil when she's hot. I hope this helps somebody, and if you could, please thumbs up, subscribe, and leave a comment. All right, have a great day, ride safe.